When you think of Guy Ritchie movies, the first thing that probably comes to mind is gangster and action flicks featuring smart talking tough guys played by Jason Statham, snappy editing that almost certainly inspired Edgar Wright, and dark comedy undertones. You probably don't associate his name with poignant, thoughtful and compelling war dramas. And yet, that's exactly what he delivers with The Covenant, a movie about a US soldier on a mission to rescue the Afghan interpreter who once saved his life during a disastrous mission in the country. The Covenant is a film that manages to strike a decent balance between gritty action scenes, survival and human drama, while touching on some very compelling real world issues that have conveniently been forgotten about in recent years. The film centres around Master Sergeant John Kinley, played by Jake Gyllenhaal, a US soldier tasked with finding and destroying Taliban weapon caches around the country. Needless to say, it's not an easy job, and it's made even harder by never knowing who he can trust amongst the local population. And when his Afghan interpreter gets killed in a roadside ambush, he's quickly assigned a replacement. Ahmed Abdullah. The two men don't exactly hit it off. Abdullah's tough and strong-willed and often takes matters into his own hands, and the fact that he was once affiliated with the Taliban himself doesn't exactly endear him to his fellow soldiers, but when he saves Kinley's unit from a potential ambush, Kinley earns a newfound respect for the man. Unfortunately, it all goes a bit wrong on their next mission when the unit gets attacked deep behind enemy lines. Most of the soldiers are killed and Kinley himself gets badly wounded in the crossfire, but rather than just a abandoning him, Abdullah risks his life to get Kinley to safety, literally dragging him across miles of rough terrain and fighting off Taliban soldiers along the way. Eventually they reach safety and Kinley's airlifted back to the States, which is where most movies like this would normally end. But in this case, we're only halfway through. The question now is, what becomes of Abdullah? He's a marked man by the Taliban, a traitor to his own people, and it's only a matter of time until they find him. Kinley feels compelled to help the man, but the deeper he digs, the more he gets stonewalled by his superiors, until at last he's left with only one option, risk everything to go back to Afghanistan himself and get Abdullah and his family out. But will he manage to get there in time before the Taliban find him? And even if he does, will they be able to fight their way out to safety? One of the biggest tragedies of the long and gruelling war in Afghanistan was the fate of the people who collaborated with the Western Allies, the thousands of soldiers, workers, informers, or in this case, interpreters who risked their lives for what turned out to be a hopeless cause, most of whom were simply abandoned and forgotten about once the war ended, an inconvenient little truth that the government and military would rather we didn't think too much about. The Covenant not only reminds us of these people and what they did, but it does it all by weaving all of this into a compelling story of sacrifice, loyalty and redemption. Both Kinley and Abdullah take great risks to help each other out, forming a powerful bond of friendship and brotherhood along the way. And props to the actors here, Jake Gyllenhaal and Dar Salim both do an excellent job and play really well off each other. Salim is quiet, understated and stoic, while Gyllenhaal starts out cocky and confident, then broken and traumatised and finally focused and determined. It's always nice to see capable actors making the most of their roles and you can't help but root for both of them here. Like I say, movies like this aren't a typical fit for Guy Ritchie, but to be fair, the guy does a decent job on the directing front. The action scenes are competently staged and feel pretty grounded and impactful. Yeah, you can tell the budget on this one wasn't exactly huge, the landscape and terrain doesn't look a whole lot like Afghanistan, and some of the VFX looks pretty rough in places, but for the most part, the set pieces are decent enough to make you feel like you're part of the action. The movie also paints a fairly realistic and nuanced portrayal of life in Afghanistan for average civilians. Some are violently opposed to the Taliban, to the point where they're willing to risk their lives to help Kinley and Abdullah out. Others are sympathetic to the former regime, and willing to sell out the Americans the first chance they get, but most of them just want to keep their heads down and stay out of it. Can't say I blame them, really. Honestly though, I think Richie's more at home during the quieter, more introspective kind of scenes. You can tell that he's really invested in the two leads and knows how to bring out the inner struggles and conflicts of both men. The core of this story is really about the bond that forms between men during combat, the risks they take for each other and the debts that have to be repaid. It's a story about redemption and loyalty, about two guys refusing to give up on each other when it would have been so much easier to just walk away and forget about it. And I guess that pretty much sums up the whole point of this film. I don't imagine we're going to be seeing too many more Hollywood movies about the Afghan war now, as the public and politicians would rather move past 20 years of fruitless conflict, but The Covenant is a little reminder that while forgetting and walking away might be the easier thing to do, it's not always the right thing. Anyway, that's all I've got for today. Go away now.